Hello, welcome back. It is Sunday. Now I was planning on doing not a lot today, but I have decided because we're gonna get a little bit of rain later in the week and it looks like we're gonna get quite heavy rain for a while. So I'm gonna take this window of opportunity to start in this area with Borg here. I'm gonna take him around with the cutter inside the fenced area and see if I can trim it all down and make it look as tidy as possible. I also want to go down to the back of the garden because I want to try and flatten out that ground as much as possible so that when I come to planting the trees it's all looking lovely and I think if I can get this area looking nice and smart then it's gonna feel better if nothing else and then tomorrow I'm gonna to concentrate on going a little bit up into the land there and start that trail up into the hills. But before I do that, I've got to just finish the little bit of fencing I need to do by the gate down the back there. And then we're sorted in this area. I think I might get the strimmer out as well. But today is definitely going to be a fun day. Oh, I'm such a noddy. So I've got this secret switch and when you turn it on and off, it disconnects the battery, which obviously if you turn it off and you're not using it for periods of time, then uh, you have a better chance of uh, saving the battery life on there and it's starting. And unfortunately, yep, I left it on. So uh, I've got to leave it charging now for a few hours. And that means I'm going to do what I was going to be doing at the other end of the day. And I think I'll see if I can get those fence posts in the ground. Oof. Right, all charged. Let's have some fun. Late in the day though. That lovely rainbow. really pleased with that and we've got a lovely sky as well let's get your dinner will it's looking a bit ominous I really am a fair weather worker now, fair to say it's a Monday morning and I'm looking at these clouds I'm feeling like should I shouldn't I it wasn't due to rain until Wednesday, but it, I think it is going to in all fairness, especially looking over there. It's heading in this direction. Uh, so I think this week is going to be, uh, well, I'll do what I can. I'm not going to now go up into the track because I've decided now that uh, I'll wait until we get some blue sky back. It's not an urgent thing to do. What is actually more urgent, and I've been putting it off, and more or less I've forgotten about it because I've, I can't see it. Adjacent to the well, there's a concrete structure, which you would have seen in an earlier video, and uh, it's completely overgrown. But there is where I'm gonna feed the water from the well into that structure. Then I can gravity feed water down into the back area of this fenced area where I'm gonna be growing my food. So it makes sense. That is gonna be something that needs to be done relatively soon to get the ball rolling. I'm just standing on the other side of the fence now looking back at the house and down here is where the water runs down through here which is why I put the fence on that side and it is down here that I really want to get tidied up because it's looking a little bit overgrown 
and any amount of tidying that I do is going to be an improvement and it will just make the whole area feel and look much prettier as well. So over there is where that concrete structure is where the water's held. So I'm going to work my way with the tractor up to there and across just in this area here for now, just to get it as tidy as possible. So we're just having a little pit stop now because the battery ran out on the phone, the power was out, so I couldn't video anymore, but I wanted to just carry on up into the land a little bit further while I had some diesel left in there and just do a little bit of an experiment on how high the bushes can be before that tractor struggles to get through it. So I've gone a little bit further up and I've decided after I've had my nice cup of tea here, as the sun's out as well, it's all gonna look a lot prettier. So I'm gonna start here and walk up to where I normally walk the dogs across where you'll recognize it. And then just a little bit up before the pond area. And I'm gonna just tell you what I'm gonna do around there tomorrow and have a fresh start on it because what I've just done now has transformed it a little bit and I'm really excited about it. I'm especially excited that we got some blue sky. Let's start up here because now the sun's out, that's looking a lot nicer with that lovely clay colour in the soil and the shadows, really nice. I think I was just saying earlier on that I was going to go into the original area I was going to put my vegetable patch in but when I put the phone down I decided I'm not going to go across here, I'll do that another day. I'll go further up because this area here I already know what it looks like when it's cut down but I will come in here to tidy it all up because it's looking a little bit messy. So the water comes down here across the track and along the side of the fence there which again is why I put the fence where it is and when you come onto this side Now you can see that it's really cleaned it up, opened up the space as well, looks a lot tidier. And as I've said before, I'm gonna go over it several more times, but as a first stop, that's pretty good. Lovely red berries are all on the floor. I'm waffling, sorry about that, but I'm really excited about this uh, because I haven't been able to do anything on here through the whole summer because you're not allowed to. Because the cutter is metal chain, if it hits a stone and creates a spark, then, then you get your fires. So this has been my first opportunity and I've been waiting ever since May or June, I think it was. So where you see it's green, that was already kind of like that. I've been over it once or twice, but where I'm standing now is completely overgrown with this stuff here. So, about half an hour ago, I just came up here and did from here to there. And it's worked out really well. Because as you know, if you watch the early videos, I was pulling them up one by one, thinking I could use them as kindling further down the line. And then of course, without the roots in there, you're not gonna have it growing back. But now I've just done this little area And it's looking wider, clearer, more manageable. A, 
and then I'll start there and zigzag my way up and over. Oh, I'm knackered now. So I think by now you've probably got a very good indication as to where I'm standing and where everything is between the house and the pond. So I'm going to carry on now. There's a lot to do and not many days because of the rain. So I want to see if I can tomorrow clear a little bit of that land up there, enough to make it transform and I'll come back to it. Uh, I'm going to do all that tomorrow and then when I come back today, because around about half past three, I just want to work my way between that tree and see if I can get to that wall. I can't go through the rest of the day and not go looking in there, so I am going to do that. But then I'll come back to the rest of that on Wednesday and see if I can clear as much as possible. And hopefully it won't rain in that time. But if it doesn't rain afterwards, then I'll just carry on. But anyway, that's my plan. I've got to shut up. I'm bored of hearing my voice. My throat's hurting, I'm talking so much. So for the rest of this video, I think I'm just gonna shut up, put it in fast forward and time lapse. <laughs> So it looks in good condition. Can't see any obvious cracks. I can't see any cracks. The water will come in down there from the well. And when it fills up, it will come through there, down into here. Another outlet there, so I can run a pipe down to the other end. <laughs> so that's pretty satisfying to get through that and actually see that it's not in bad condition. I was expecting part of it to be collapsed going to take a little bit of effort and time to get through all that lot there but it will be done so I'm pleased about that right it's Tuesday I'm going to use that tree as my line up there and we're going to cover that area there so just see how much I can do I don't know where I'm going to start I'm just going to go where I fancy That's really opened it out. It's quite incredible.
What a beautiful sky. Great way to end the day. Because I've now gone up to, that line there is where I started my little walk up onto the top there where the water is. And it's only about 20 feet or so, so it's not too bad. I've covered this area here and managed to get the line sorted out. I still though have got to do all of this area here, but it does start to go up a little bit. So I probably can only come to where uh, Will is more or less with the tractor before I then have to use other tools, I guess. But I'm definitely not gonna be able to get that up there on the tractor. But I think we've done really well today. It's not too bad today. I was expecting it to be raining, but so far, blue skies. I think in the distance there, the clouds are coming. So there's three things that I wanna try and get done today. Uh, one of them is indoors. So I'll do that later on, just in case it does start to rain. But the first one is to get this area at the front sorted out and see if I can get the strimmer over here and at least tidy it up. I'll then come back to it another day to do some proper tidying. But I think if I can get this all strimmed down anyway, it's gonna look a little bit neater. Well, it's definitely looking a lot neater. I used the blade on the end of that strimmer um, because there was some thicker stuff down there. I'm gonna go over it again another day using the wire. Now that I've got down here though, I can see what I've got to play with. I'm gonna be tidying up the bank as well, try and get a, a nicer angle all the way along, get it nice and even. Uh, but for now, I'm happy with that. Looks like we're gonna get a little bit of rain. So I wanna dash up to the back, a lot of running around, go to the back and see if I can get at least 10 meters of that trail. Oh, beaten by the rain. But as soon as it stops raining, I'll walk back up there again and show you how far I got. Well, the rain didn't beat us, but the fuel did. So I've got to the water which is a good start. I wasn't sure I was even gonna be doing it. As I said at the beginning of the video, I was gonna wait. But to just get that little track up there now means it's gonna make my life a lot easier going up there and I can walk the dogs up to that point. Leaving that mound like that now, I might actually leave it overgrown on either side, just tidy it all up because that is really the base of where we're going up into the hill. So I can have that as my entrance point for the trail. Stick a little post in the ground with a sign on it. That'll be really cool. Wow, that heaven's just opened as I was walking back, so I'm soaked now, well and truly soaked through it. I was thinking I might actually, because it sounds quite fun, have a hot shower underneath there while we got the rain. I think I'm gonna do that now. There's not a lot else I can do. 
We're just gonna have to wait this through before I carry on with the other job. So uh, hot shower it is. Right, the rain has stopped. It's getting a bit late now, it's just starting to go dark, but there is something that I need to do in this room to make sure that I'm all comfortable. Because it is a little bit tight in here. It's also very cold, so I need to uh, do this quickly. Friday. Doesn't the week go really quick? It's unsettling. So I'm on the roof at the moment because I'm just checking the holes and so far so good. We've had a little bit of rain and no problems as yet. Okay, it's not heavy rain, but it's a good start. Uh, I'm going to be concentrating this afternoon on this little room down here. So given that we were having a little bit of rain this week, I think it's been fairly productive. Got a little bit of the front sorted out. This fenced off area, trimmed it all down. Other side of the fence, we've got that sorted out up to that little concrete bit. I haven't gone back to that bit, by the way. I'm gonna be doing that next week. We've done just below where the pond is, cleared up all of that. So I've been more or less sketching, just doing little pockets of areas so that I can now go back to each area and spend a little bit more time concentrating on one bit at a time. Um, but I also managed to get a little bit of the track sorted out, which is good. And I found a couple more markers. But today, I'm out of breath because I've been going up and down those stairs. I'm going to be concentrating, as I just said, on that. Three o'clock this afternoon. That's why I've got to be here. Uh, about four weeks ago, the salamander, I lit it and uh, there was smoke coming out of it. Filled up the entire bus. Luckily, I was on the sofa out here. So I opened the windows and the door, let everything out. And uh, since then, I've been part using it because at a low heat, it's not too bad. But as soon as it gets really hot, the smoke comes out. So it's the second time it's done it. They did actually send someone along to have a look at it just to confirm it's a salamander and not my installation. And it is the salamander. But today at three o'clock, Guy's coming along and hopefully he's gonna fix that. So I've created a bit of a mess out here just because I had to pull loads of stuff out. So hopefully he can get that done today and I can clear it back up again. So I've got to be around this area to make sure I can hear him when he turns up. Now I had the chest freezer arrive on Tuesday. I've been going on about this forever and I finally got one the other day. So that's now in there. And I now have the um, fridge freezer, the chest freezer, the washing machine. I've got this little portable oven and a microwave as well, but it's getting a little bit crammed in there. So I figured out that I'll take this opportunity, especially as it's a blue sky, to pull everything out of that room. And I now am gonna paint the inside of that room because it's looking a little bit drab. And I'm gonna use the same paint that I used on the outside because that's a primer, a paint, and it's an antifungal as well. So that's gonna be really cool in there. It also means that when I have the light on, it's gonna light the room up a lot better as well. I'm also putting a shelf in there and that's gonna hold the microwave in the oven. So I'm hoping by the end of the day, I'll have it all back in there and it's gonna be looking nice and uh, finished. And hopefully I can use that log burner again. Yep, you gotta go backwards to go forwards. So you can see in this room, in the summertime, I really didn't worry about it too much, but as we're going into the winter months, we've had a bit of rain, that patchy wall actually now starts feeling like it's damp. It isn't, but it feels like it is. So I think giving it a lick of paint is gonna make a, a huge difference in here, but I haven't got much time left. It's already half past one, I better hurry up.
So I have this bit of old timber here, some builder's timber, and uh, that's all I need. It is a little bit warped, not worried about that. I'm just going to scrape off the dirty top surface first of all, and I'm just going to leave it like that because I think that's going to be perfectly fine. Now I've got this little tool here, and I'm literally just going to be scraping it over the surface here until it looks reasonably clean. Then that is going to be finished. I like that, it's a bit of character. All the sun's going down, lights are come on and all this stuff here that you can't see has got to go back into that little room. And I've got to make sure it's back in here nice and tidy as well. But I have managed to get this room painted at least with a shelf and it's looking a lot better than it was before. Now I know it's not gonna win any design awards, but that's not the purpose of it. It is only temporary while I'm renovating the house. As far as I'm concerned, this is a good usable space now, just not pretty. Uh, all the white goods, I'll come back to that in the morning, but I'm really, really glad that I saved this bit of wood here because that is perfect to hold up the microwave in the oven, which of course is gonna end up giving me a lot more, because there's not a lot of it, a lot more free space on this so I can prepare my food. So it's all looking quite nice, but I'm in a bit of a hurry now because I've got to clean up these brushes and get that stuff that you can't see back in here. So I'll show you it in the morning. Saturday morning and I've been doing a little bit of cleaning. So the kitchen now is definitely, definitely an improvement on what it was yesterday. So I'm very pleased with how this has turned out and I'm glad I painted it as well. So I now have everything in here that I could possibly need, obviously all the appliances. And this chest freezer now is also a fridge. I can set it so that I can have it as a fridge or a freezer. It's a 200 litre. And I've already started putting stuff in there, but I'm about to go down to Lole. There's a market down there as well, which I'm gonna put into the next video. And I'm gonna see if I can get enough stuff to stack this out. I reckon 200 liters, I'll have enough in there to last me six months at least. So that's worked out pretty good. And I reckon it'll pay for itself in under two months as well, just on diesel. It's around about three, 350 a month for the electricity. So I'm not gonna complain about that. The Berkey, probably the most important thing in this room because it's fresh drinking water, which is really cool. And my honey still hasn't gone down very much, look. So that's gonna last me forever. So having these two up there has actually left me with a little bit of counter space. Okay, it's not a lot. I'm probably gonna put another little shelf there for the kettle and the um, toaster. And then I can hang pots and pans off there as well. So that will free up a little bit of space, but having that two ring hob is perfect. And I don't need to worry about the extractor in here because I always have the door open or the window whenever I'm in here. So all good, a little bit of storage. I'm gonna get some boxes underneath there and hopefully that will uh, help out a little bit, but I'm really pleased about that. Unfortunately, I can't get any little plants in there because it's too cold, they just die. So I'm off now, so I'm gonna end the video. When I come back, I need to sort this area out. As you know, the guys came yesterday to sort out that salamander, but I didn't get a chance to clear it all back again because I was doing that room there. So that's my little job for the afternoon and my little trip down to Lole. I'll stick that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I think we got quite a lot done this week and I'm very pleased about that. Next week's going to be busy as well. I've got the builder coming who's hopefully going to give me some good news on that roof. Fingers crossed. I'm going to be going up into the land a bit more and lots of other things. So anyway, until next week, have a great week and see you then. Bye bye.